Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you today? I hope you had a great weekend. I would like to talk today and share with you about some emotions, some feelings that we get when we are actually going through a shocking events. We've been through a lot lately. And I wanna talk about anger, deception, and sadness. All those emotions are natural, but you don't have to deal with them in a sense that they control your life. With everything that's going on in the world today, we are going to feel those emotions, those three I mentioned, anger, deception, sadness. When you feel those emotions that is starting to getting stronger and stronger, you need to release them. And the way you can do it is, first of all, is welcome those feelings because it's normal. Accept that you feel angry, that you feel sad and deception. The technique you can use to help you is writing down everything you feel through those emotions. Deception is more about expectation, what we expect and it wasn't met. We can talk about what happened on Saturday on the GO. A lot of people around the world just ready to watch something that has been happening for many years. Some of them are ready with the children. And then when it started, they are disappointed because they're like, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. So the shock is being showing is like, so what do you do? Are you keep going? Are you keep watching? That's the question. And that's how all the emotions that you feel. And then after that come the sadness because you are sad to realize that things are really going wrong. Like I mentioned, just write it down everything. If it's easy for you, you can talk about it with friends, family, share. But again, the people with who you are sharing, maybe they don't see what you are seeing. Or it's hard for them to understand. And that's okay. No judgment there. They are not at the same timeline, I would say, than you. The next step I will say, practice um, some uh, technique that can relax, that can help you relax, like meditation, yoga, uh, go outside, bicycle, you know. Um, some of the country is like summertime. So just go outside and just to refresh your, your mind. And uh, yeah, you need that. Don't let those emotions stick to you for too long. It's not good. Just tell yourself that event happened. It can be the one that we, the, the, uh, that went through uh, on Saturday. It can be another one, but any event, let it pass. Let it pass. Don't stay in those emotions because you're not gonna win. It will be the emotion who control your life. That's not the way it should be. And another technique is you need to set boundaries. You need to set time 
for yourself. For example, I set boundaries and I decide I don't want to watch that show on Saturday. I saw some image, some title, because I was going through um, different posts that I was looking information, but I didn't click on the video. I didn't click on the, uh, I didn't click on the article to read. That was internet connection. I don't know if you saw, but lately the internet is really not stable. And I believe because we are getting closer uh, to the big events worldwide. So yes, set boundaries and set time for yourself just you know to to be away from all this. And the fifth technique I would say if you can transform those energy into a positive action. What you can do, for example, if you feel that you are strong enough, that you are positive, you can help someone who are not aware of what's going on around the world. With this information that you have, that you know, you can support someone around you. And what I wanted to share as well is that not everyone saw what we saw. A lot of people, even the uh, galactic, they were talking about different timeline at the same time. At first, I didn't know exactly what that meant. I know what is timeline. I know what is different timeline. You know, some people are still on the third dimension, other are higher, but I didn't know exactly concretely how it will be. And I experienced it this weekend. Well, yeah, on Saturday. Some people who, sh who, show, who saw the, uh, the geo find it amazing, find it spectacular. It was great. It was magical. And people around me actually saw that. And I just realized, I know, I just asked myself, did we saw what I saw? Because I know those people should react to what I saw because I know those people. So it's strange that they find it really fantastic. That's when I realized they are in a different timeline so they cannot see what I saw. No judgment. It's not the time or they don't, they, they are not ready to see. But just know there will be more and more revelation like this one on Saturday. Because people don't see or people don't want to believe until they can see. So that's the reason why we see those things. And even we who are awake are shocked about what we are seeing. So if you can support people who are not aware of what's going on, be there for them. Be there for them and always gently, no judgment, because you don't know how far you can go with uh, that person. That's what I wanted to share with you today is about how to manage your emotions about everything that's going on around the world. And you will see that the more we are getting close to the big events, the more shocking event images we will see. So be ready. Stay grounded, stay aligned, and don't fear. The only thing you can say is like, we are getting closer. We are getting closer to a freedom, to a peace, to joy, abundance. That's the only 
focus that we need to see when all of this is happening. I hope you find this content helpful for you or people around you. Don't hesitate to share this information, like if you like the, this video. And I have a, um, a free ebook about self-love, if it can help you, in the description of this video. Take care of yourself. Be gentle with yourself and don't forget self-care and set boundaries. That's really important. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.